heading home today. And we are trying to get Treehouse Brewing beers on the way home. Yeah, I think it'll be relatively simple. We're on their website, ready to order. Orders open at 9.30 a.m. That's what the website So we like just right gotta now. pretty much place our order, minimum one case. Um, try to get what we can get, and they're on the way home, so we should be able to pick up. The pickup process seems pretty simple. Have your ID ready, have your order ready, hold it up to the window, wear a mask, they pull it up on a hand cart, you grab it, put it in your car and go. So hopefully that's pretty smooth. We'll see. We'll find out. We're both trying. We have no Tuesday. idea how fast these sell out. Yeah. It no, I've Tuesday. never bought it. It's Tuesday, October 20th. We'll see how it goes. Two minutes left. Probably a minute and a half left till we can order. The hard part's not knowing like what the layout of the site's going to be with the because you literally can't see anything. It just says the store is currently closed. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> As I mess up my rear. 929, 929, one minute. It seems like the website's loading fast, which like, so it's not like this is like the first drop ever for Treehouse or yeah. anything, so website's pretty like the quick. Easy, the easiest thing ever. We just want to make sure we're doing it as efficiently as possible. We have a long drive ahead of us. We're looking at probably another eight hour day. Yep. You know, with, especially with this stop. Um, hopefully this is quick at their campus, but we'll see. Oh, okay. It popped up. must that we had to get. I'm talking like about this like I know what I'm talking about. I just know from what Dan has told me. I but, really know what I'm talking about. I've never had Treehouse. I know who they are. I know they're that great. I've just never had somebody who had any to give to me. It's not distributed. Yeah. And you, you have to go there to get it. We've and, even had people message us and tell us, please make sure you try to stop by Treehouse. So we are doing that. Yeah. Um, so we did get our order in. We ended up just getting two of two the cases. cases. The mixed packs. The mix two mix packs. The follow Dan on Instagram at Dan Drinks Craft. Yep. On Instagram, that's where he posts all about his beer stuff. I'm not crazy active on there, but I every once in a while when I have a really good beer and you know You only post the ones that you really love. For the most part. Sometimes yeah. I'll post one, you know, if it's just a good I really like the can artwork sometimes even more than I like the beer. I don't right. you know that's pretty lame, but I love pretty much every beer. I don't think there's a beer out there that I've had that I I've absolutely hated. Um, and I'm pretty open Maybe to trying it. Maybe big Pretty Pretty big jobs. <laughs> they were okay. They weren't bad. Beside the point, but we are on our way. We are going to Treehouse. We have yeah. our order in. 20 minutes away. 20 minutes away. And we are supposed to get there at 10.54. They open at 11 a.m. for pickup, so I'll try to film as much of that as I can. I don't think that they're open right now for any, like, actual no. in-house you drinking. You can't even leave your car. You yeah, like we're gonna. It's very restrictive. It's almost like a like a COVID like test. A COVID stop. You roll up with your windows up, masks on, hold your ID and order to the window. Yeah. Uh, they pull up a hand cart. They're gonna have like two cases of beer, and then I ordered a glass on the hand cart. They walk away. You grab it, load it into your car, close the door, and go. It's very it's very smooth flowing. I mean, they're a big operation, so they kind of need to be. And then what I read is with the hand cart, you're thinking like, well, if they're using the same hand cart, no, they alternate them and clean them. Oh yeah, that so makes sense. they're even doing that for you, which is really cool. And we have our spot open down here. On the floor for those And cleaned that out before we started our adventure, so we'd be ready to just throw the drinks in. Not throw. You know what I mean. Place them. Place them in the car. Yeah. It should be pretty, pretty smooth. Um, yeah. It's quite the mix packs. So you have to order by the case with, I think, a maximum of three cases per order. Yeah. Um, it was either three cases per order or three cases per car. Okay. We're ordering two. I didn't want to go crazy and order three. I already have almost three, basically three full cases yeah. of just beers from Maine and Massachusetts as it is. <laughs> so I didn't want to go too crazy. I mean... He probably could have gotten the extra case and found people to buy it from him of course, at but home, but he didn't want to have to deal with too much. I'm yeah. not doing it. I'm not a hauler. I'm not trying to make money on beer. I'm just trying to bring stuff back with me to share. So. Oh yeah, no, you're not trying to make money. I'm just no. trying to spread the wealth. Yeah, pretty much. If I'm already out here and I'm already picking it up, why wouldn't I? Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, it's not like I had very specific orders to place or anything like that. We just grabbed two mix packs that looked like they had good stuff. Again, I've never had Treehouse. Yeah. So I'm well aware of who they are. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, it's exciting. We'll uh, record as much as we can. Okay, I'm just happy we got some. 
kind of stressful. some kind of weight. Yeah, it's like a whole All right. pretty campus. And there's our weight. That's a lot of cars. Yeah, this might take a while. But it wasn't wrapped up. I know, I think it might be just to there. Oh, okay. Look at this facility, wow. Wow, that's cool. So we're moving, so, though, we're in line. Yeah, they're still not technically open Yeah, this yet. is what was blocking everybody, the do not enter. Yep, we were car number nine, a golf cart came over and moved that sign, and it definitely appears like everybody's got a different out-of-state plate. Like, <laughs> like, I'm seeing, like, just, That's yeah. how cool the place actually is. Yeah. I like their little logo. Definitely does suck that we didn't get to uh, go inside, but another Thanks, time. COVID. Yeah, That's okay, you know. So we're falling. Cars. Yes, I've never been to a brewery of this scale. This is just. Hello, oh, sir. Well, yeah, it'd definitely be cool to come here sometime when it's open. I guess that will depend on if I even like their beer. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing you will, <laughs> considering it it's so well overheated. It was a joke. No, Look never had pretty. it. Nobody's ever decided to share some treehouse with me. You sound a little salty over I there. I'm a little salty about that. <laughs> I got a lot of beer friends and nobody's ever like, yeah, dude, got a can of treehouse for you. Well, now you can decide to be that friend. So the guy came up to the car and you just showed your ID? Yeah, he basically just looked, said my name, and then said uh, last four of the order number through the walkie. So my guess is they start to pick your order parking some cars probably. Yeah, we're not really sure what's going on with that, but. Yeah, they probably just park us and then bring it up. Yeah. I mean, it's, there's gonna be a wait, obviously, uh, because Treehouse d currently doesn't, I don't know if they ever will. My biggest question was, people are gonna be showing up all day and you never put an estimated time, so they clearly still need to pick and put your order together once you get here. There's, yeah. So there's always gonna be that delay, no matter how. I would think with that, them not being open though, that they could just put all the orders together in there, but maybe not. I, I'm sure once something sells, they probably bring it out into an area or something. You would Maybe. have to, because otherwise it would just be like ridiculous. And that's why they're mainly doing packs. Like, because at first I thought I'd be able to order, like I said, a minimum one case. I thought I'd be able to order a case and then add on just like the King J -J Julius or the King yeah. Julius just for, I thought I'd be able to do that. And it was definitely a no-go. You had to find a mix pack that had it in there. Well, you could have gotten one type of beer as a pack. Correct. Or a case, whatever it's yep. called. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't all have to be mixed bags, but there was no like one case of that. They, no. They just sneak a couple cans in type thing. Yeah. Because that's originally what we planned on doing, was just getting like a mixed pack, like maybe four different types of like their originals, and then a couple King Julius just to go, like to add on to it, but you can't do that. So no. we ended up with two cases if you wanted to do that. And you could have up to oh nine cases per car, I think. I thought you said three cases per car. It's three cases per order. I don't know if it's three cases per car. So oh. quote me and we will see. Okay. Nope, three that months. was all of theirs. Maybe. Now, uh, if they owned a brewery, would they be allowed say, to like use it? Maybe they're a bottle it? shop or something. Is that allowed? I don't know. Don't know, fam. You're asking the wrong guy. Yeah. That's with it, so. I think there's a bag order. on it. I think it is yours. Order. There's a plastic something on it. Baby tree house order. You gotta keep that box. Use it for something. Yeah. No, I don't know. No, I didn't order any glass. But somebody else ordered a little baby order, so. Yeah, it makes you feel better, right? Gonna order some... <laughs> There's a bag on that that's one. Gotta be mine. I think that's yours. It'll literally take us two seconds. Your little bub jubs. Your little bub jub order. Yeah, just... It's gotta be yours. It's gotta be. If that's mine, I'll put it in the I right think now. it is. Yep, that's you. The wrong side of the car, but... Very cool. Dan's got his beer. Dan's. Whoa. Alright. Order secure. Where are you going to put the bag? Just lay it right there. Yay! 
That was easy. Easy enough. So we have picked up our beer, Dan's beer, yep. and it only took 23 minutes. And I think it could have even been faster. Well, there's fa a lot of cars now. Yeah, wow, we got look here at this. A good time. Look at all the cars. Um, it would have been a lot faster if the first truck didn't have 15 cases. Yeah, the first truck, we're not really sure. We thought when we looked on the website, it said max of three cases per car. They can limit the daily volume at their discretion. Yeah, so it looks so, like maybe there wasn't a limit today. We just missed it, but that's okay. We wouldn't have bought that many anyway. No. That would never be in our budget. No, because uh, nobody, like a couple people expressed a little bit of interest, but nobody ever gave me hard numbers. Like they didn't say like, dude, if you can't give me a whole case. I wasn't about to buy an extra case yeah. and then have them be like, well, I only wanted two four packs. Right. So, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, um, so he got a lot of beers and I mean, for his own collection, he has a lot of beers. We got five and, cases worth of beer in this car right now, so yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of beer. So we're gonna make our way home now. Yeah, our car is just like, oof. yeah. But that was cool. I'm glad we got there. We how smooth. We got there like 10:52, I think. We pulled up yeah, and they moved everybody up at 11. Orders are going a lot faster now. It was that first. It like, was the first truck because they had so much beer, and they like Dan said, they moved them off to the side to like get them out of the line, and then still worked on their order first. So yeah. that it was pointless. They wasted all the time trying to figure out where they were gonna put the truck, and then they could have just left it in line. And yeah. did that then, but yeah, they're trying to be quicker, and it just didn't work that way. Yeah. The truck truck loaded their stuff fast enough, and got it. Yeah, so that worked out though. Yep. For a twenty-five minute delay, I don't think it was. I think it was worth doing it. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it took us a little bit out of way regardless, so it added like thirty minutes of the trip. It may have added a total of an hour, Maybe. if you think about it. But it's okay. Still, should be at home sometime around six tonight, which we planned on anyway. Yeah, I told Dan he's done enough crazy Disney things, so. I think I owe him a couple beer trips. Yep. <laughs> and now we make our way home. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in Florida like worth ever, but we always fly anyway. So. Yeah, well, that's the thing, we're driving. We never drive we anywhere. Never drive, so. so to have our car, like, yep. it's a big benefit. So, it's exciting. Now we get to go home. Yeah, I probably could have U turned at any point here, but it's just telling me to go up there. But there's a McDonald's right at the end, so we're gonna grab food. Ooh, Mickey D's. It's Let's go. right there, so that works out as well. Perfect. Yep. I'm hungry.